All right, so we're gonna review colliders and renders. So create other cube and bring it over here. Hmm, where is it? Okay, and now I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. So of course we run, we run into it, we stop when we hit it. Um, so. Um, there's two things going on. There's what we see and there's what we collide with and they can be different. So if I turn off the renderer, you can still see the green outline of the collider. There's no renderer, so there's no visual thing being rendered and I'm running into an invisible wall. You can also turn this back on, turn off the collider and now I would just run through, I'll just run through, run through, because I can't collide with it anymore. Instead of the checkbox, you can click this, remove component, and that would just remove the collider. Um, and they can be different, so at the collider, we can make it bigger. So now you can see the, the green is bigger than, a lot bigger than, uh, than what we see. So if I press play, I can't even jump over this. It's just still them colli colliding with an invisible wall. Now the reason you do this is to simplify things. Say I have a complicated model like this chess piece. Um, if you want to collide with it, you don't want to take a look at every little piece because it'll be really complicated for a thousand of these to collide with each other. Instead, you can add a box collider to the, well, you know, click on the chess piece, add component, box collider. Now you can see the green outline. So this will behave just like a box when it falls, when it hits stuff. And if I press play, um, I can't really run into it. And if I want, I can change the size of the collider. Uh, you know, 